Let's come back sometime when they're open. Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I'm here in Woody's, and I promise you, after looking through the windows, looking at the outside, saw you saw, that I'd take you inside. And here we are inside, and I'm going to introduce you to the owner, Woody himself. And this is the gentleman who owns and runs this establishment, and could you tell us a little bit about yourself? and how you get started in doing this and a little bit of background. Sure. Um, we've been here in West Concord, had the storefront since 2008. Um, my main thing that we sell is the literature, but then we've got just about anything else automotive related in here. Performance parts, uh, die cast cars, um, you name it, whatever I come across it that a car guy would like to have. Um, we started out in 98 selling on eBay. Uh, it started with six boxes of Ford manuals. Put them on, listed them on eBay. Just fantastic return on, on what we invested in them. And it just snowballed after that. Um, seems like just about everything I've started has worked real well and it's snowballed into even bigger. Um, we have owner's manuals, which are all those containers over there on those shelves. Um, they started out with just a couple of small shoebox size containers, the owner's manuals, and they've grown to literally thousands and thousands of them that we carry. And they're for cars, trucks, motorcycles, outboard motors, heavy equipment, trucks, just about, uh, anything that has an owner's, an owner's manual or operator's manual to it. Look at that one. When was the last time you saw an owner's manual for a Rio? How cool is that? And then along with, with the shop manuals and the owner's manuals, we sell sales literature. Um, color. We got some color and upholstery books. Uh, but mostly sales brochures and, and stuff that's easy to handle at shows because we spend most of our time on the weekends at car shows somewhere around the country. Okay. Yeah, so let me uh, show you some of the stuff he's got in here. Like he said, one of the things he has a lot of is die cast cars. And not just any die cast cars, but most all die cast cars of different sizes, shapes, and colors. Some of them like these are out of the boxes. Yeah, and a lot of those we've got the boxes for, those are Franklin Mint and Danbury Mint. Okay. So they're the high dollar ones. Right. And then we've also got like the uh, Sun Pro and uh, Revell and other die casts like that. The die casts have kind of taken, gotten to be quite a few here. Uh, I had a buddy that passed away five years ago before back to the 50s in Minnesota here at the show. And uh, he was Marty the Toy Guy from Rochester. Okay. And we've been slowly helping his wife sell a lot of her cars, a lot of the cars that are still left there. Um, literally have thousands of them there yet in Rochester at their at their house that we're going to be trying to sell here in the next few you know year or so. I just kind of ran out of room in here so we haven't got all of them here. And uh, like he said he has vintage auto accessories, chrome lug nuts over here and uh, shackle uh, or spring spring lowering kits, that's what these are. You can either shorten up your coil springs or crank them out. And I remember these, we called these knuckle busters. We used to use those back in the 60s, 70s, uh, crank them into your front coil springs to jack the front end of your car up so you didn't have any spring in it. And your car would bounce like this going over the bumps felt cool like you were a race car. Chrome dick sticks. 
How about a set of big block Chevy valve covers? Chrome plated. Come around here. How about a chrome gas line for a, a Holly four barrel? Dual inline. All kinds of good stuff. Oh, and how about uh, shifter balls? Look at that one. How cool is that? Marbleized. You gotta love that. Real glass. And the old Cal Custom style, kind of like the Hurst grip shift. And these look like these are knobs. Yeah, dash knobs. Red. Three Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, and plastic model cars too, not just the die casts. It's got some nice vintage ones up there. These are all being reproduced now by the model companies. What used to be uh, hard to find are not so hard to find anymore, but it's still hard to find the originals. And down here he has some nice uh, Hubleys. I see a couple of them are original Hubleys, and then he's got the Gabriel kits which came after the Hubleys, and then finally uh, the last iteration of them scale models which were made not too far south of us down in Iowa. That's cool. And if you need some wire looms for your car and you want them color coded, look at that. Woody's got them green and orange and red and yellow. Fuzzy dice. Gotta have fuzzy dice on that 50s and 60s era hot rod. Oh, yeah, pink and white. Of course, you have the standard black and gray. And what, a, what uh, vintage auto store would be complete without a pair of Krager SS sitting on the floor? And on it goes. Around it goes. Metal signs. Wiring diagrams. If you need that, Woody's got them. How about a fender for your Mustang? Not that bad from Texas. From Texas? Yep. Yeah. That's because in Texas they don't have rust like they have up here. He's got some vintage um, gauges down in here. Water temperature. Tachometers. Wheel center caps. Pretty cool stuff. So, oh, I guess the big question, and, and I, I didn't pan down in here, these are all auto manuals and stuff. I showed you when he was talking about all the owner's manuals there, but these are all repair manuals on the shed, shelves here. And he's got rows and rows of them. They're original ones from all, all the different makes that would have been at the dealerships. So if you need something, you can contact Woody. And let's ask Woody to tell us what his contact information is. Uh, we're at 150 East Main Street in West Concord, but I'm tough to get on the weekends. I'm here about uh, Tuesday through Friday during the week from 11 till 4. Um, we can always run over if somebody wants to, you know, is planning on coming up here and we can, you know, wife or my son can come over if I'm on the road. Uh, the phone number is 507-527-2880 at the store. My cell phone is 507-271-0993. Uh, we've got a website. It's Woody's Autolit. Uh, 
Hold on a second. Woody's just Woody's Auto Lit .com. Uh, My email is Woody's at GoFast.am. And we'll put this right up on here so you can see it. Uh, the one thing about my website is right now we've got some technical difficulties with it and we've got our credit card processor not hooked up to it. So you'll have to, you know, find what you need on there and we don't have call. everything we have on it either. Okay. So just give us a call and, and we can give you a price. We ship everything we can, media mail, which is the cheapest way to ship. So it saves you some money on shipping. And uh, otherwise you can catch me at most shows. You know, major shows around the country. We, I'm heading down September to Texas. I'll be at cruising the coast. We do quite a few of the good guy shows. Um, Houston Autorama. That's all coming up this fall. Uh, then we kind of got a couple months off, and then I head back to Texas again in, in uh, March. We start out in Lincoln, Nebraska, and then head south. And that all comes out of the humble little town of West Concord, Minnesota, which if you uh, drove through town and you blinked your eyes, you might miss it. But uh, yeah, countrywide setup located locally. So if you need uh, any of these manuals or uh, rather repair manuals or owner's manuals, and like I said, I showed you wiring diagrams, contact Woody and I see something down here I just noticed. How about a flathead Ford V8 aluminum intake manifold? You don't find one of those every day. So until next time, this is George and saying thanks to Woody for taking us along for a visit in his shop called Woody's appropriately. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Bye now.